Hello, welcome back. Eccentric bolted connection in steel design using Canon F789SGA. Okay, so um, we will use Caltech in this problem. Okay, so siya nga pala, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe sa channel natin and click the bell icon. Okay, para ma-update kayo sa mga bagong videos and solutions. Okay, let's start. So, the bolts to be used in the connections are 22 mm diameter bolts. So, these are 22 mm. So, these are the questions. Determine the polar moment. Determine the load in the critical bolt. It P acts on the centroid. Determine the load in the critical bolt due to torsion. And calculate the shear stress on the critical bolt. Okay, so, number one. Determine the polar moment of inertia per square millimeters. So, looking at the plane view ito, okay? So, I numbered the bolts 1, 2, 3, 4. So, first thing to do is to locate the centroid. Okay? To locate the centroid. Then, if you want to locate the centroid, um, gagawa tayo ng reference axis. Let, let's say, dito tayo maggawa ng reference axis. Okay? So, it's up to you kahit saan. So, dito na lang. Okay, so, in... Mode 3 to linear mode and frequency on. Okay, so look at that. So using the calculator at mode mode 3, so 3 is stat, then 2 that is in linear mode. Okay, that and on your fre frequency that will be shift mode and press button down and stat then on the frequency ayun so ito yung magiging itsura okay so ganyan and then um i have numbered it 1 2 3 4 so that represents the bolt okay the number of bolts okay at bolt 1 ito ano yung x natin from the reference axis that is 0 okay 0 yan wala tayong x dito at bolt 1 and the y naman at bolt 1 that is from here up to here so that is 100 and 100 that is 200 and lastly the frequency is 1 lang yan yung number of bolt okay 1 lang yan lahat then in bolt 2 that is ano yung x natin dito 0 pa rin okay then the y from this point up to this that is 100 and frequency is 1 okay now, bolt 3. Our x here is 0. Our y pa rin is 0 then. And the frequency is 1 volt. And bolt 4, ano yung x natin dito? That is from here up to here. That is dalawang 75. Okay? Or 150. Now, our y in bolt... Okay, mali. 150... And our y in bolt 4 is 0. Okay, wala tayong y dito. That will be 0. And frequency is 1 pa rin. Okay, then press CA. Okay, so mamaya ilalagay natin dito yung data. Okay, Ating, after pressing CA, okay, lagay ko muna ha. Ito yung ginawa natin. Okay, follow lang. Then press CA. Then hanapin mo yung apps 5. Doon ka sa variance, okay? And hanapin yung bar x and bar y. Okay lang? So, tingnan natin sa calculator. So, nag-CA tayo, no? Ups. Then, 5 is s variance. So, 5. Then, hanapin yung 2, yung bar x. Okay, so that is. Then, another, ups, 5 pa rin. Hanapin yung bar y. So, magagamit natin yan. Yung bar x and bar y mamaya. Okay? Now, the problem is the polar moment of inertia. Okay. So, by the way, this is the centroid. Ito yung bar x natin from the reference point and the bar y is also from the reference point. Okay. Now, finally, the moment of inertia, the syntax is ito. Ito lang. Hanapin mo sa calculator. O, subukan natin. Okay. So, syempre, sa apps pa rin yan. Ups, then um, n that is nasa fiber nyan n is 1 then 
Ups, hanapin mo yung ganito. Nasa 5 ba niyan? And eto. Okay, 3. And squared plus, ito naman, y sigma. Um, ups pa rin. Then, 5. And y sigma is nasa 6. Then, squared. Okay, so that is the polar moment of inertia. Okay lang? Easy. So, that is the polar moment of inertia per area of the bolt. That is for part 1. Okay. For part 2, 3, and 4, so magsusunod na to. Okay, so what will we do? Okay, so the number 2, determine the load if P acts on the centroid of the bolt group. So, ganito lang yan. Okay, mode 2, complex na tayo. Then, ito yung syntax. P over the number of bolts, um, angle theta. Okay, so I will show you that. Okay, mode and 2. Okay, so that is, lagay natin yung P, 120. So, gawin natin Newton sa. And the number of bolts is 4. Then, angle, theta. Ano yung theta? 50. But, ito yung tandaan nyo. Um, clockwise from the horizontal, that will be negative. Counterclockwise from the horizontal, that will be positive. Okay, so ito is clockwise from the horizontal, that will be negative of 50. Okay, so isave natin yan sa A para madali tayo mamaya. Ayun. Okay? So, we save it in A and ito. Save natin sa A, then ito yung gagawin natin. Absolute of A, yan yung um, direct load PD. Yung hinahanap sa number 2. Okay, that is the direct load. So, ganito lang yan. Um, absolute of recall A. Okay, 30,000 newtons. O, oh, in kilonewtons, that will be 30 kilonewtons. Okay, so easy lang. For part 3, determine the load in the critical bolt due to torsion. Okay, so due to torsion, ito yun. PT, tawagin natin PT, that is TR over J, the torsion formula. Angle alpha. Okay, so in most common cases dito, ang critical bolt is andito. That point. Okay, so i-discuss ko sana yung principle paano i-locate but in most common cases na lang, this is the critical bolt. So, first, we uh, we should calculate the torsion or the torque. Okay, the moment about the um, centroid. Yan. Okay, that is just uh, 50 times this distance here. Okay, the moment arm. So, okay, what is this distance here? From this tip up to the centroid, ha? this is aligned to the centroid. That is just 50 plus bar y. Okay, that is 50 plus bar y. So, that is just 125. 50 and bar y natin is 75. Okay, that is 125. So, dito rin, magka-create din itong moment. So, gina I mean, di nag-components tayo para mas madali kunin yung moment. Okay, this, this, uh, this force naman must be multiplied by this distance here. Okay? So, ano yung distance? Please take note. This then, um, i-minus natin yung bar x. So, ang matitirang distance dito is 287.5. Okay? Now, we can calculate the torsion or the torque. That will be 120,000 cosine, this, ha? Uh, cosine of 50 times 125. Then, the y component is 120,000 sine of 50 times this distance. Okay, so we have the tor torque. Okay, torsional moment. So, newtons millimeter yung gagawin nating units para madali. Now, ano yung r and alpha natin? So, we have j naman, walang problema. Okay, so, um, i-zoom natin yung bolt na ito. So, this is the centroid, ha? Ano yung r? Yung r is itong distance na to up to the centroid of that bolt. Okay, so we need, by the way, ito yung PT due to torsion, ito yung hahanapin natin, ito naman yung um, PD, yung hinanap natin kanina. Okay, so we need to calculate this alpha and by the way, this is the 50 degrees dito na ginamit natin. Okay, that is counterclockwise from the horizontal, so negative na uh, yung dalawang angles natin. Okay, so in order to calculate this alpha, we need to calculate this from here up to this distance, ano to? That will be 75 plus 75 minus bar x. Okay, and we have bar x here. That is 112.5. And ito naman, the vertical distance. 
um, from here up to here that should be the barbed wire lang or 75 and the r na di, the r in the formula is just eto the radius nita that is just square root of 75 squared and 112.5 squared okay so by the way this angle uh, it's obvious the tangent of this angle is equal to 75 over 112.5 and that is 33.69 degrees okay now finally this radius here or the r is uh, by Pythagorean theorem lang okay 75 and 112.5 squared okay so finally yung kulang natin is yung alpha na lang so alpha in most common cases ito lang yan 90 degrees look at this ha 90 degrees minus itong angle na ito okay in most common cases ganyan yan palagi okay so um, in board exam, ganito lang yan Always Okay uh, Actually, in board exam Symmetrical yung bolt natin Symmetrically distributed So, mas madali pa siya Ito is mas mahirap to At naka-incline pa yung force natin In most uh, board exam is naka-vertical lang So, mas madali In case yung load natin is naka-vertical lang Walang inclination So, yung angle natin sa dito is 90 degrees lang Negative 90 degrees Okay Okay, so we have our alpha here that is 56.31 degrees. So we compute uh we completed na the parameters. Okay, so substitute. Okay, so substitute lang in the formula. Angle so negative pa rin because alpha is um clockwise from the horizontal and is save mo yan sa B. Okay, I will show you that. Uh, um 36 Point zero seven times ten raised to six times one three five point two zero eight divided by four four three seven five and angle of negative of fifty six point thirty one fifty six point thirty one okay press equals then is save mo yan sa um, b so actually this one is the x component sa ating PT. So, yan yung PTX. Ito naman yung PTY. Okay? So, i-save natin sa B. Okay. So, for number 2, determine the load. I mean, the ter number 3, determine the load in critical bolt due to torsion. That is the PT. So, that is just the absolute of yung B. Sinave natin si B. Okay. Naka-newtons to. Ang lalabas dyan is 10.993 kilonewtons. Okay. So, that is the part 3. Okay, so finally, the last problem is calculate the shear stress on the critical ball. That is just force over area. Okay, now the force here is just the resultant ng itong dalawa. So the resultant nitong dalawa is the absolute sum of A and B lang. Okay, yan yung magiging resultant niya. Okay, so that will be like this. The absolute sum of A plus B divided by the area of the ball. Okay, so let me show you this. So ganito lang yan. And force over area, that is the absolute of um, A, recall A, plus the B, divided by area ng bolt. Oh, by the way, 22 mm yung um, diameter ng bolt natin. So, that will be pi over 4 times 22 squared. And pressing equals, this is the stress. The shear stress on the bolt. Okay. So that is for part 4. Okay, so sobrang dali lang no. So ito lang yung challenging yung pag-calculate ng T and pagkuha ng alpha. Actually hindi naman challenging, madali lang siya. Just um imagine the drawing no, the figures. Okay, so baka next video i-discuss natin yung principle nito. Dito lang um, for board exam takers pa lang ta. Okay? So once again, thank you everyone for watching and God bless.